Currently working as a dietitian in Narayana Super Specialty Hospital, Guwahati, and I am an editorial board member of CCEM Online Journal, which is the first uh, e-journal of critical care emergency medicine in North India. Today, I am going to talk about diet for diabetic people. Uh, Health DNA, in association with their event and media partner, Mint Life. I have organized a live show on a very important topic that is diet for diabetic people as a part of their awareness program for the month of November. Uh, actually, for this month uh, is prompt as a diabetic awareness by Health DNA, and uh, I'm glad to contribute my part over here. Uh, if you are talking about uh, diabetic and um, diabetic people and diet and anything regarding diabetic thing then we need to know why we are talking so much about diabetes um, what is the prevalence what is the occurrence of diabetic people in our um, uh, in our country so india currently represent 49 percent of uh, world diabetes burden uh, with an estimated 72 million cases in 2017 a figure expected to almost double to 134 million by 2025. Uh, diabetes prevalence has increased by 64% across India over the quarter century, according to a November 2017 report by Indian Council of Medical Research. If you are talking about the demographic data in our India, state-wise, uh, we are lucky that we are in the Northeast because Meghalaya has the lowest diabetic prevalence and um, Chandigarh has, has the highest uh, diabetes prevalence that one is 13.6 percent followed by Punjab. Why it is so because uh, um, the eating pattern because the uh, body type is structure. We knew that the obesity is directly related to diabetes so uh, uh, when uh, that Indian Medical um, uh, Council of Research uh, did a survey uh, state wise uh, demographic data to check the demographic data of uh, diabetes, prevalence of diabetes, pre diabetic and diabetic patient, and obesity um, prevalence and uh, the uh, hypertensive uh, prevalence. It was found that the uh, Punjab and Chandigarh um, states are um, um, Punjab and Chandigarh both are uh, highest in um, uh, obese, obese people and as well as uh, hypertensive people and as well as in. Uh, that uh, diabetic percentage too. Uh, so um, uh, now we are um, uh, we talk about the diabetes prevalence in our country state wise and um, um, the things. But uh, the problem is that in our country half of the diabetics in India don't know their status. They because we are not that much of health conscious. We are not going for blood sugar checking. We are not going for health checkup. So we are not aware that we are diabetic or not. We are in a pre-diabetic condition or not. So we are not going for treatment and untreated diabetes can cause blindness loss of food renal problem heart disease and lot of other medical um, problems too so it is very important to check that um, what is the our status our health status if it is on a higher side if we are in a pre-diabetic stage we can uh, right now by uh, by doing our lifestyle modification by doing our uh, dietary modification we can control our sugar levels we can we can save ourselves to be a diabetic so now, uh, because I'm a dietitian, so uh, I would love to talk about the diabetic diet with you. So when we are talking about diet for diabetic people, we, know, we need to know what need we need to eat, how much we, we can eat, and at what time and how we can eat that thing, and how those things are impacting uh, to our health. So for that, uh, to know that we should know some basic thing of uh, dietetics or nutrition, uh, which is uh, the nutrients nut and the second is food groups so we uh, according to nutrients uh, uh, we are uh, distributing our diet in four major uh, and minor nutrients first is carbohydrate second is protein and the third one is fat and fourth one is micronutrients which is which um, in which comes um, vitamin minerals and other things so in diabetes the major role is uh, with carbohydrate the maximum part of our diet uh, comes with carbohydrate near about 60 to 70 percent so being a dietitian when a diabetic person came to us 
we we are trying to cut down their carbohydrate portion uh, or reduce the carbohydrate portion from their diet and the type of carbohydrate which they are taking uh, that we are trying to improve so uh, from where these carbohydrate comes so from all cereal like uh, uh, wheat like rice uh, like all all grains and cereals they gives a lot of carbohydrate to us so and carbohydrate is very important because uh, it covers uh, 60% our diet the part of our diet so we need to take carbohydrate we cannot cut down carbohydrate completely but we can reduce the amount of carbohydrate the we can reduce from 70% to 50% and the type of carbohydrate fiber rich carbohydrate it helps to control blood sugar so instead of taking carb, um, um, white rice if you are taking the red rice instead of taking maida if you are taking the whole grain um a whole wheat flour so that will help to control blood sugar and if you are taking the carbohydrate source like vegetable like fruit like whole grain that uh, gives a good quality of carbohydrate uh, and give a um, uh, good control in our blood sugar level then uh, second things uh, second uh, nutrient is protein uh, which is a very important thing and it covers near about 20% of our um, diet um, it, calorie uh, from protein should uh, be uh, near about for 12 to 20 percent and um, the most important thing is pro- uh, with protein is like ki, uh, when we are eating protein uh, that gives us a lot of satiety feeling and we are not feeling hungry uh, for a long time which is a major problem with diabetic people uh, what happened with them that every time they are eating and after some time they feel hungry again but with protein uh, because protein uh, release a slow uh, sugar release slow sugar in our uh, body so if we are if our body is not sufficient uh, to uh, that uh, um, um, to regulate uh, sugar in our blood uh, very uh, in, in a very good amount then uh, if um, we are eating something which is releasing a, in a very slow rate then our body uh, is able to control that uh, um, sugar in our blood and uh, because it is releasing very slow uh, it, it is di- it take a lot of time in digestion so it gives us satiety feeling long time because it it stay in our stomach for a long time so hame bahut lambe time tak bhook bhi nahi lagti hai so uh, that's why protein is very important for uh, type uh, for uh, the blood sugar control for type 2 diabetic patient but uh, uh, sometime what happen uh, when the diabetic patient they they are facing a lot of hypoglycemia in which the sugar level is going down on that time protein shakes are not uh, a good um, choice for those patient for them on that time we need to go for the, uh, the refined carbohydrate thing and the third one is fat um few of my patients are always telling me that uh, because i am diabetic so i cannot take uh, fat i cannot take uh, any any source of fat and sometimes people are telling that uh, um, i cannot take fish too so this is a very wrong concept fat is a necessary part of our balance right so it is very important we need to take our, a lot a lot of amount um, a lot of fat in our diet but the good quality of fat so especially healthy fat like olive oil like like fatty fish we need to take so all omega 3 omega 6 fatty acid we need to take in our diet because that is a basic requirement of our our um, body if we are not taking fat at all we will face uh, uh, joint movement problem uh, our uh, hair will go rough our eyes uh, uh, become dry so fat is important thing we cannot say no to fat in any any type of uh, uh, disease especially in diabetes definitely no uh, uh, fat you need to take but in the good quality of fat and in a balanced amount so balanced diet is advised not the diet restriction in uh, to cut down any nutrient or mac- micro and macro nutrient is not advised not at all हमारे कंट्री में सम पीपल आर बिलीव दैट डायबिटीज डायग्नोसिस मीन्स गुड बाय टू ऑल गुड फूड नो इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट हैविंग डायबिटीज डज नॉट मीन दैट यू कैन नो लॉन्गर इंजॉय गुड फूड और दैट यू हैव टू गिव अप ऑल योर फेवरेट यू कैन टेक एज पर योर इट डिपेंड ऑन पेशेंट टू पेशेंट इट डिपेंड ऑन योर शुगर लेवल 
इफ यू आर एबल टू कंट्रोल योर ब्लड शुगर इफ यू आर इन अ गुड कंट्रोल विथ योर लाइफ स्टाइल योर डाइट यू कैन टेक एनी थिंग इन अ स्मॉल अमाउंट द क्वान्टिटी इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड द क्वालिटी ऑफ दैट थिंग इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू कंट्रोल योर ब्लड शुगर सो नाउ फ्रॉम वेयर दीज न्यूट्रिय वी हाउ वी आर ले पर्सन कैन अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम वेयर कार्बोहाइड्रेट कम फ्रॉम वेयर प्रोटीन आई कैन टेक सो वी आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग आर फूड इन फोर टू फाइव कैटेगरीज which is one uh, one category is grain and starches which gives us a lot of carbohydrate second one is uh, vegetable which gives us a uh, lot of good carbohydrate because of uh, soluble fiber is there so uh, vitamins and minerals are there uh, good quality of protein also but uh, vegetables are uh, vegetables are not the source of uh, carbohydrate and uh, not the source of protein we are considering vegetable as a source of fiber and multivitamin same fruits uh third thing third food group is fruit fourth fo- uh, food group is milk and there are alternatives like uh, milk and milk products cheese paneer ice creams and other things and fifth is uh, meat and alternatives meat and meat products so in this category poultry fish egg all non vegetarian items are coming over there so uh, uh, when, uh, when we are uh, taking uh, food group five then grain and starches like all dal Uh, rice uh, uh, all uh, wheat all type of grains and all ty- <laughs> type of pulses are coming in that category grain and starches but if we uh, um, distribute one group into two groups one is cereal and second one is pulses so pulses are good for diabetic people cereal is also good for diabetic pe- uh, people but for that they need to uh, be very uh, cautious um, when they are choosing their cereal thing so they they always they have to choose uh, uh, um, uh, full fiber uh, cereal uh, not the processed cereal as i earlier told you instead of taking maida if you are taking whole grain uh, um, uh, wheat it will be uh, good for a diabetic person and the second thing is pulses pulses in any form <coughs> if you are taking that is good if you are taking in a full form uh, as a dal as a cooked dal it is good if you are taking pulses as a sprouts it is good if you are taking as a, a pulses as a snack because um, maximum diabetic people are uh, uh, um, uh, in uncontrolled blood sugar so they cannot any um, processed food like bhujiya namkeen mixtures they cannot take so they have to eat something as a filler so for that they can uh, use pulses as a fillers like uh, roasted chana roasted uh, uh, pulses and they can take as a, a sprouts so 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 say so in that way they easily they can increase protein intake in their body uh the third one is fruit which is very important because fruit gives us a lot of uh, uh, vitamin a lot of antioxidant so it boosts our immunity system and it again it gives a uh, um, that uh, because uh, we cannot take directly uh, sugar so fruit is a part of uh, our diet uh, as a sweet thing uh, then vegetable vegetables again uh, gives us a lot of bulk if we are reducing something uh, from our diet uh, like carbohydrate then we need to increase something otherwise we we may feel hungry so uh, while we are eating on that time we need to be uh, very careful we need to start our diet with salad we need to at least take at least two bowl of vegetable in our uh, uh, every meal uh, vegetables are in a different category like root and tubers Uh, that uh, green leafy vegetable and stem so all three category vegetables should be there and um, it should be not uh, uh, thoroughly very very much cooked so because uh, vitamins are um, uh, uh, destroying very easily so we need to uh, know that what type of vegetable how to cook and in which amount we need to take so vegetable plays a lot of um, important role in, in different type of diseases especially in diabetes too then third one is milk and milk alternatives uh this is very important because in north east generally people are not taking too much of milk but those who are taking they have a long, uh, wrong concept that they if they are suffering with diabetes and cardiovascular problem they cannot take milk Th- which is very wrong because milk is not giving you any problem it, uh, it is a source of protein resource of protein 
but if you are taking full cream milk because milk fat is not good for you but milk is good for you so if instead of taking full cream milk if you are taking milk uh, skim milk or fat free milk that will be good for you so instead of avoiding fully milk from your diet it is always advisable to take uh, skim uh, milk or fat free milk and same with the paneer and curd if you are if you want to take paneer and curd because it is a rich source of protein it gives you a lot of calcium so you have, obviously you need to take milk otherwise uh, uh, in future you may face a lot of uh, osteoporosis problem or bone density problem so it is very important that you have to take milk and um, milk product in your diet but it should be uh, fat free or skim milk then the uh, fifth one is uh, non non veg meat and alternatives so generally we are uh, we are saying to the people red meat generally you need to avoid uh, uh, red meat and uh, egg is important uh, you you have to take um, egg per day and fish is important because fish oil is very good good oil so you have to take fish and um, poultry obviously once or twice in a week if you are taking that is very good but uh, the the preparation of that uh, non veg item is important if we are cooking uh, that uh, chicken in a full uh, bowl of uh, oil and with a lot of heavy gravy then definitely it will harm you but if you are taking boiled grilled or steam uh, chicken that will help you same with the fish if you are taking fish fish is good fish fat is good but if you are frying that fish in a, that uh, butter or desi ki that will be harmful for you so while you are taking uh, uh, any food group while you are taking any food you need to be cautious about the type of the, that uh, food item how to cook and uh, how to eat and how much need to eat so um, already we talk about the food groups and nutrients there are some few tips and guidelines which um, is very important for diabetic people so uh, healthy eating for diabetes is healthy eating for whole family it doesn't mean that once are diabetic to aapko dusre alag khana banana hai is not if uh, a person uh, is diabetic whatever he is taking that one is healthy for uh, a non diabetic person like me um, enjoying having regular meal is starting with breakfast first then lunch and dinner uh is very important uh you cannot take your meal uh, you cannot skip your meal and um, mainly three big meal you have to take and uh, in between uh, small frequent meal should be there so um, uh so for example if you uh, start your day with 6 am to early morning one cup tea then breakfast then mid morning with fruits then lunch main meal then tea time then dinner and after that bed time so near about 7 to 8 uh, meal should be there three major meal the rest of the small uh, 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 meal should be there to avoid uh, eating a lot of uh, things see if we are taking breakfast and after that we are not eating anything and taking lunch um, um near about one so on that time we feel very hungry so we can eat a lot of uh, uh, food which is not required for us so in between breakfast and lunch if we take something when you are about 10 and 11 uh, in the form of a small meal like fruit so that will give us a, a satiety feeling and in lunch we we can be um, save ourselves by eating um, by over eating so uh, that will be help that's why small frequent meal is advice uh, to all diabetic patient and uh, space between two meal to major meal should not more than 6 hours at least uh, for those who uh, those who, whose uh, blood sugar is totally uncontrolled for them we are advising um, space between two meal should not more than 4 hour but for uh, a normal uh, person or for a normal diabetic uh, controlled sugar person we are advising the distance between two meal should not more than 6 hours the uh, third point third tip is eat a variety of food in each meal including healthy fat lean meat or protein whole grains and low food fat dairy products too so please don't think that uh, if you are taking uh, milk that will ha- uh, harm to you if you are taking uh, non veg it will harm to you no it's not like that balance meal you have to take variety of food you have to take in your diet choose fiber rich food such as fruit vegetable whole grains as much as possible like brown bread bran cereals whole wheat and brown rice
that will help uh, to reduce the uh, um, the carbohydrate uh, uh, refined carbohydrate uh, amount in your diet and give you a lot of satiety feeling too explore good source of protein such as lentil beans tofu fish and egg so if you are taking if uh, if you are saying that uh, we need to increase protein in our diet decrease carbohydrate per percentage in our diet on time that time we need to be very conscious while we are choosing the protein sources so good quality of protein is really good for us like lentil beans tofu fish egg uh, easily you can take fish and egg you easily you can take day, on daily basis uh, as per your choice and choose calorie free liquid such as unsweetened tea coffee water coconut water and butter milk maximum time people are saying main bimar hu i am not healthy so fruit juice is for me fruit juices are for you but if it is sweetened it is not because we are saying that for a, being a diabetic person you have to take a lot of fiber rich diet and you are you start taking instead of taking fruit you start taking fruit juices it means you are taking a more refined carbohydrate so it's always better to take fruit instead of taking fruit juices and cola drinks in market a lot of uh, drinks are available uh, which has a, a lot of added sugar and salt both which is not advisable for diabetic patient not at all and that is not advisable for normal people too two sugar substitute instead of taking sugar honey and jaggery two sugar substitute like um, sugar free like stevia so that will help you um, to control your blood sugar and give you a good taste too now we are coming to the portion size how much we need to take in our diet how we calculate how how i knew that two two roti is sufficient what is the what should be the size of roti uh, if um, a dietitian is saying that two bati two bowl of rice is sufficient so what should be the size of uh, that bowl so how much i can eat that is very important that is called portion size so um, there there is a portion sizing um uh, thing guideline is given by the canadian diabetes association uh, which you easily can google and uh, see that thing um, on google but i have a photo of that thing so i, I love to show you uh, if it is possible see here it is so first thing first important thing how much milk i drink so that one is up uh, up to 1 cup that is 250 ml low fat milk easily you can take in your meal second thing how much fruit um uh, we can choose so it's up to your size uh, generally we are uh, we are telling that um, 200 g fruit you can take and the third one is how much meat and alternatives we can take so choose an amount of size of your palm uh, the thickness of your little finger so that this much of uh, um, non veg product you can take in terms of egg one to two egg per day you can take okay how much grains and starches you can take again um if uh, uh, Um, in the olden days, uh, uh, while there is no measuring cup, on that time people are doing that uh, one mutti rice, uh, one handful of rice for one person, uh, two handful of rice for two person. So cereal in exchange, so easily we can calculate according to that. And now uh, vegetable, how much vegetable? Because portion size is very important. If we are saying uh, uh, unlimited vegetable and too much of vegetable, it doesn't mean that you can un you can eat unlimited of. No, it's not like that. So how many of vegetable you can take? Choose as much as you can hold in your both hand. That one for one meal usually you can take. So if you are taking two bowl of uh, vegetable with uh, one quarter plate of salad in one meal, that is sufficient for one meal for you. so this is <clears throat> the canadian guideline which i showed you so uh, portion size is very important and uh, uh, when you are diabetic on that time while you are checking your portion size and uh, quantity and quality of your food on that time uh, it is very important you uh, check your blood sugar level before your meal and after 2 hour of your meal if it is uh, not controlled then you need to correct your portion size and you need to correct the type of food you are taking in your diet uh what are the things which diabetic people cannot do first 
first and foremost thing diabetic people cannot skip any meal if you are skipping any meal definitely in second meal you will increase um, you will uh, obviously you will do the overeating that will increase your blood sugar and if you are not able to eat uh, long time hypoglycemia may occur so you cannot skip meal second diabetic people cannot eat heavy and fatty meal obviously fat gives a lot of calorie that will increase your blood sugar so you cannot eat heavy and fatty meal cannot eat saturated fat such as butter coconut oil and palm oil salty food um, cannot eat salty food cannot uh, choose food that are high in sugar such as cake pie donut sweet sweet and cereals honey jam jelly so what preserve or pack food is especially no for diabetic people cannot choose sugar sweetened beverages like sodas fruit juices and cannot add sugar in your food so if you are remembering all these don't uh, point so that will help to control your blood sugar level um Uh, being a diabetic it doesn't mean that you are not eating out you easily uh, you can go with your family you can enjoy eating out dining out easily uh, a diabetic patient can manage but you need to keep something in uh, you need to keep uh, tip in your mind that what you can do when you are di- dining out so uh, there are some tips which i am going to tell you when you are going uh, dining out mm, the first point is choose not to eat the bread while you wait what happen while we are wait waiting for meal on that time whatever the breads and portions are there we we start eating that so please don't um, do that and uh, instead of that uh, eat a little snacks before you go to dinner like crunchy fresh vegetable or like uh, fruits if you are taking that or you start your meal with uh, um, salad crunchy vegetable then that will help you then be green obviously if you are going out then choose a lot of salad over um uh, in in a buffet uh, so that will help you give a lot of fiber give you a lot of satiety and will stop you to eat a lot of uh, um, and healthy food and dress your salad smartly the third thing when we are taking uh, when we are saying that be green and take a lot of salad on that time because uh, we are dining out they have a lot of uh, creamy um, that dressing with salad so how to dress your salad that one is very important instead of mix salad if you are taking salad separate salad and the dressings in separate side so on that time you you can choose that how much dressing you require and always choose the dressing vegetable Uh, that uh, uh, vinegar based dressing or lemon lemonade based uh, dressing instead of taking creamy dressing for salad and the fourth point is replace food obviously you, you should know that how to replace food ask for a steam food grilled food boiled food baked food instead of sauteed and fried food so if uh, if you are dining out and the fried fish is there and a steamed or baked fish is there so always choose for baked fish instead of fried uh, fish and same with the vegetable if there are steamed vegetable and baked vegetables are available then go for those instead of um, going for the heavy gravy one uh, vegetable and heavy uh, that uh, deep fried vegetable which protein the third point uh, the fifth point is which protein ask for the appetizer size portion or cut the large portion of half share take same same this to the moon so in which sorry in which proportion what uh, what proportion you can take so if a lot of food in your food in your plate it doesn't mean that you have to finish all of the, those things uh, you can um, eat only half portion and take uh, half portion you can take um, uh, with you at your home or you can share that portion with your friends or you with your family member please don't eat all all the things which is not required for you and uh, be fruitful obviously instead of taking um, um, uh, dessert um, after a meal it's always advisable to to, to choose food as a dessert uh, while you uh, while you are TV, um, I, the dining out um, so uh, f- uh, f- um, fresh fruit salads are available you can take you can choose um, plain fruits uh, but you need to be remember if there is a creamy uh, food thing sad there please don't <laughs> choose those so don't choose rasgullas and uh, uh, pastries and cakes you can choose the 
better option as a food uh, thing in your dessert. Seven important point: don't be hurry. Relax in and enjoy your food and the dining experience. If you are eating slowly, that will um, give the signal to your mind that uh, now uh, this is um, enough for you. Now you can stop. But if you start eating very fast, uh, um, then uh, after overeating, that signal goes to your mind. So um, it is not advisable to go um, dining out or in a, in even in home. If you are eating very fast on that time, you definitely will go with uh, overeating. But uh, if you are eating in a relaxed condition, enjoying your food, uh, then you cannot go with overeating. Uh, so remember to stop eating when you being to feel full. Okay, what is the timing? See, if we are saying that okay, we will eat small frequent meal, uh, we will take, uh, we will not skip meal, but we are taking our dinner near about 12 p.m. It will help for us? No, it, it is not. So eat your uh, dinner before 8 p.m. and it is very important that uh, your full day schedule should not not more than 13 hours. So start your day with, if you are starting your uh, morning with 8 a.m., then your dinner should finish by 8 to 9. It should not uh, 10, 11 or 13 because you, you are on a uh, medicine, you are on a lifestyle modification and you are stretching your uh, 12 hour uh, day time which is uh, made for us to work and 12 hour uh, rest time uh, uh, for sleep. If you are making our working hour uh, more than 13 hour or more, uh, and stretching 15 and 16, that will not help to control our blood sugar. And the second thing, if you are taking our breakfast late in morning, early morning, if, for example, if we wake up 6 a.m. and we are taking our breakfast uh, near about 10, it means if we are not taking our breakfast within a two hours of uh, leaving our bed, then our uh, liver uh, start uh, releasing the sugar. So anyhow, then your uh, fasting blood sugar will increase. So it is very important that you have to take your breakfast um, within a two hour um, uh, of uh, um, um, your uh, that uh, wake up time. And uh, then after that, for example, if you are uh, uh, waking up uh, near about six, then your breakfast should be before eight. Then in between 10 to 11, you have to take one small meal, which is, uh, um, uh, which may be a fruit or which uncooked thing you should to take uh, you should take on that time for a uh, um, multivitamin for mineral and for vitamin things and then in between uh, 12 to 2 pm uh, you easily you can take your lunch then 4 to in between 4 to 6 pm again one small meal like tea with sprouts or roasted chanas or with uh, some other healthy snacks and then before in between uh, 7.30 to 9 you have to take your dinner and it is always advisable to take dinner at 8 p.m. in night time and uh, if you are doing a lot of work on that time if you are not uh, um, able to sleep before 10 so it is always advisable take your dinner at 8 p.m. and then uh, before going to bed uh, take one cup of uh, milk as per your uh, requirement so that will give you a good sound sleep and if you are taking medicine uh, with milk, you can take medicine easily, That, but milk should be the uh, fat free. So these are uh, some major uh, points, some tips which you easily can follow and uh, which help you a lot in controlling your blood sugar. So I think this is sufficient and if you have any question, any query, please ask. Uh, I'm, I'm welcoming your question because it will help you and it will um, give me a lot of uh, experience uh, that uh, uh, what type of question, what type of problem you are facing to deal my patients too. Is there any question?
ओके इफ राइट नाउ इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन सो यूजली यू कैन गो इन हेल्थ डी एन ए वेब पेज वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड दिस वीडियो सो यूजली यू कैन टाइप इन कमेंट यू कैन टाइप यूर क्वेश्चन इन कमेंट बॉक्स वी विल आंसर यू डेफिनेटली ओके गुड डे